Gonna start in the neck. Dwight Schrute would say that is the most efficient mm, go for the kill. That makes sense. <laughs> oh yeah. You just gotta cut him like that. Oh yeah. <gasps> Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln and this is Dan. And today we're gonna cut open these giraffes. Giraffes, baby giraffes. Why in the world are we cutting open these toys? There was a news story last week that we got sent to us by a bunch of you guys. I love it. I love it when you guys see stuff where you're like, we need what's inside to see what's inside of this. One of the most popular chew toys and supposedly very effective. But the problem was a couple of people cut them open and there was black mold in it. Check this out, Lincoln. Look at that mold. That's what it looks like. Like a little baby is chewing on this. You can buy these things on eBay used. Instead of just cutting open one, we have eight of these things that came from all over the United States. They could be used for one day and out of the package, or they could have been used for two or three years, really. And so I think it's a better sample size if we cut open all of them and see if any of them have black mold. The main person that gave us the idea for this is the channel Ellie and Jared. And they sent us a tweet and said, hey, do you guys want to come cut open our baby giraffe? And so we're going to do things a little different today. I have to go to school. Plus, Lincoln is filming a special project with Devin Supertramp later today that he needs to be here for. Let's take Lincoln to school and then let's go on a long drive, find Jared, surprise him with all these giraffes, and see if there's any mold. Look at those mailboxes. How do people live here? It's so snowy. I feel like I'm in a marshmallow land. This is all from snow that he pushed off of his driveway. <laughs> okay, it's Sophie the giraffe time. Here we are in Jared's beautiful kitchen. Are you ready for the most Sophie the giraffe you've ever seen? Yes, I'm ready for it right now. <laughs> Here we go. Three. Oh, my gosh. oh wow, so there's like different, there's different types of them. Yeah. This is like a little deer. These guys, some of them are pretty used and they look like it at least. Like this one, it's the dirtiest one and it doesn't make any noise. The squeaker is dead. Oh wow, these squeak really well. These squeak really well. I mean, it was like their favorite toy. They loved, you know, just being able to grab on it and chew on it. It was like their go-to teething toy. Pediatricians and dentists both recommend this for kids for teething. They are a little bit more expensive when it comes to teething toys, but they are very, very popular. Apparently, this company started in 1961. They've sold tens of millions of these Sophie the Giraffes, but they've become really popular over the last few years. And the problem is, as you saw, there is a squeak with it. There's a little hole, and this one doesn't make any noise anymore. But what the company actually says on their website and on the instructions is that you're not supposed to put this in the bathtub. You're not supposed to put it in the microwave to sanitize it. You're supposed to wipe it with a cloth afterward and that's it. Any type of rubber toy that you put in the bathtub has a risk of possibly getting mold inside because the water could get inside and if you don't get all the water out, well, it could just sit there for a long time. So I would imagine that's what's been happening with these, mm -hmm. but this is gonna be a little bit more of a scientific test. We have not washed any of these. I have not touched them. We haven't tampered them at all, so Rather than just sitting here and talking about them all day, it's time to kill some giraffes. Welcome to What's Inside, Jared. It's nice to have you. Thank you. Hey, I'm sorry I'm not Lincoln, but I'm so happy to be here right now. <laughs> this is very exciting. We have them all set up perfectly to watch us murder their sibling. This does not feel right. It feels a little barbaric to me, but. <laughs> this feels so wrong. <laughs> we're murdering a whole family of giraffes. They're so sweet looking and we're gonna cut them open. Gonna start in the neck. There you go. Oh yeah. You just gotta cut them like that. Oh yeah. We're getting down. And yes, my razor blade is already dirty. Something else. Okay, the moment of truth. We're gonna open this guy up. Oh no! Oh my gosh! No! Wow, look at that! Holy mold! What? What? That, that is mold! I was not expecting that at The first all. one! Like my buddy opened up his clean as a whistle. And they like live in a really humid place. Holy crap. Look at that mold. Okay. Um, Dude, it, hold your breath. This is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So when you, in the articles that we read, the company has said they've not received, there's been two reports of ones with mold and none of them have been sent to the company. I think it's probably our duty to send these to the company. So Damn. we'll send that one. Um, Gosh, Jeez. I honestly, I'm gonna be honest guys. 
I didn't think we'd have mold in any of them. Just, I, I didn't. I didn't think we would find one. May, like, maybe one, but like, with a little bit. But this is covered. That is covered. Completely covered. Let's find one that doesn't squeak. There it is. There it is. <laughs> the last one possible. <laughs> He's just messing with me. He just wanted to hear the squeak. He loves the squeak. Are you comfortable holding a knife? I'm not going to come on what's inside and not cut something open. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm kind of shaking right now because I'm like... Yeah, it's like totally shocking results. Really shocking. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go the Here reverse go. order. Okay, this is the one that did not squeak. You would think it would be used more. Ready? Yeah, ready. Let's see it. Go for it. Clean. Ooh. Nothing in there. That's a nice one. Yeah. Okay. So well, that's good. two. Okay. Let's put a pile. Not mold over here. Mold over there. Oh, I need... We need... Gotta be careful. Should we be wearing gloves for this? Jared's wife, Ellie, is on a girl's trip in Hawaii right now. Yes. I don't know that she'd be allowing this now that she knows we found mold. Yeah. We will clean this very, very well, Ellie. Don't you even worry. One bit. Let's do the reindeer looking one for the deer one. Bambi. <gasps> Bambi. Well, these traps are just tough. Okay, we're in. Nothing. Phew. Clean. Good yes. old Bambi. <laughs> oh, oh, through the neck. Oh, sorry. you're so mean. Ready? Ready. I'm ready. No mold. Clean. Clean. How is the first wow. one had mold and these other ones don't? That's okay, crazy. that's three no mold, one no mold. mold. I didn't bring a hatchet to not use it. And check out this, Ellie and Jared cutting boards. My okay. buddy gave that to us for Christmas. That's great. Just in case you lose it, right? It's the worst when your neighbors borrow your cutting board and then they don't return it. Yeah. Oh, it happens all the time. And I am not seeing mold in this guy, but let's chop him up again. Nothing. Oh, wow. There's a little mold in there. There's a lot in the head. You can tell the water just kind of piled up into there. Number two. Another one in the moldy section. Moldy pile. I am really surprised with these results. Yeah, like I said earlier, there's only two that have been reported in the news of two different people cutting this open finding mold. Wow. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh. It's like... I'm kind of relieved when it's there's a, no mold. <laughs> it is. It's just, I have this like feeling of, yes, there's no mold. Because how long have kids been sucking on this? Mm -hmm. I'm relieved that there's more to that pile. Okay, this one looks very... Looks good. Actually, there is a hint of black in there. It's almost like the oh, beginnings yeah. of mold. I mean, if there is, if mold is present, I think it goes okay. in that pile. Okay, putting in that pile. So here's where we stand. Two with definite mold, one with the beginning spores of mold, and then we have one, two, three, four, five with no mold, so. Okay, Dan. <laughs> there it is. I've got our kid, Sophie the giraffe, here. We've discovered mold in some of these. Like, I don't want my wife and I to live in mystery if we keep this one, like I have to know now because there is mold in these ones, like definitely yeah. mold. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's a good idea because if I were a parent that was about to have another child, like I would probably, after finding this out, I'd prefer to get rid of the old one because mm -hmm. it is a great toy and it's Well, it's it been around since the 60s. Like my mom yeah. was saying that her brother used one of these. I really think we should cut it open. I'm, I'm a little nervous to see, I, you know, I don't know. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm being, all I'm, that's left to do is open it. I'm, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> what is it, Joey? Oh. Clean as a whistle! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh! My heart was pounding! I was nervous! Oh my gosh! Okay, Kids, look clean. You are safe. Ellie, aren't you relieved right now? Still really surprising results. We had three with mold. Two definite, one growing, and then six without. Wow. Okay. All we did is cut them open. We had no agenda to get these guys in trouble. <laughs> right, Jared? Right, I mean, our kids love these. I have three kids, Jared has two kids. Families are super important to us. You guys let us know like in the comments, what should we do with these? Um, I'm gonna reach out to the company. I don't know anybody there. I don't know if they'll respond. And then you can watch us on our family channel where we do a lot of like behind the scenes and vlogs and different things. And we'll give an update at some point. But um, yeah, a little surprising and disappointing. 33% of the ones that we cut open 
had signs of mold inside of it. I'm gonna take these home and show Lincoln the results, but big thanks to your wife, Ellie, for bringing this up <laughs> and for sending me the tweet. But also, go check out Jared and Ellie's channel. They do daily vlogs, really inspirational. Well, thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Yeah. Woo! Okay, set it down and go wash your hands. Seriously. We're out of here. <laughs> but.